like a train. And, and, and so can I live? Or is my brother trying to gun me down? Scuffle a couple of rounds till we hear the thunder sound. Well. What do you want the world to know about KFC and Taco Bell? I want the world to know that... This is what we do at when we close. And then we feed it to the customers again. So the same food. So you mean to tell me that the same stuff that you had in those cans all day, you put it back in there, yeah. put it in the freezer, and then you sell it to people yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. Why do they uh, do that? I don't know. And it's cross-contaminated. And do they do that with the mac and cheese, too? They sure do. And then Right here? Yep. <laughs> and these are the empty things? Sure is. And that's the mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese is burnt. Look at these old green beans. These green beans have been in there for three to four days. And is there any chicken that's been sitting up there all day? Yes, it is. Let me show you the chicken. Here's the chicken that been in there since 30 p.m. And they're going to sell that to people tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. What else do people need to know, Nick? Um, no, it's not that. It's got to be the next Does it stink to mine? Hell yeah, this thing. Look, smell this one. There's another one? And this chicken right here been in there since 4.30? And they're going to sell this tomorrow. There you have it. And it has, just think, mold and mildew yeah. probably grew in there. Yeah. Well, that's all you need to know. Yeah, I'm on the beat producing shit like it's me, me, me at the creek so we can sign games at its peak. Today's video, I want to talk about the veil being lifted from your eyes when you first come into truth. Now, first things first, I want to say that when a veil is first being lifted off of your eyes, it's like a very astonishing feeling. Like when you first hear some real truth, it's like you, hold on, my shit, my shit be fast, hold on. And then after that, it's like everything around you it's moving slow. It's very it's moving very slow. You just looking around like this stuff been a lot this whole time. But before I get into that, I just want to give a couple of analogies like I always do. Now check this out, right? See in school, if you tell this to the average person, they don't want to believe it because the average person don't want to believe that their whole life has been a lie. I can understand that. But when I first came into truth, I'm like, that does make sense. And why would you want to continue to live a lie? I mean, I guess that's more acceptable to certain people than actually knowing that their life was a lie. But nah, not with me, fuck that shit. But look, check this out. Now, like I say, in school, all the stuff we didn't taught, been taught in school, false, lies. They didn't taught us two plus two equals four. But in reality, two plus two can equal anything you want to. I mean, I know the average person will say, this dude got to be on some, bro. This dude got to be on some. <laughs> but that's not even the case, though. Because look, they taught us math and all this stuff, which ain't nothing but numerology. So in school, all they have been teaching us is sorcery. You know, and sorcery is magic, so they really been teaching us some Harry Potter shit in real life. But anyway, check this out, right? The Universal Creator, they, the Universal Creators, or the Universe, whatever you want to call him or her, they have programmed animals to live a certain life, right? Because an animal, when a lion is born, a lion automatically knows how to be a lion. When a dog is born, a dog automatically knows how to be a dog, etc. 
etc etc right they have programs the things that they can do if a dog is a dog a dog is going to do what a dog is going to do right because the universal creator has programmed this dog to be a dog right now let's look at humans the universal creator did not program us humans because he or she wanted us to be able to have the free will to choose what we want to choose, right? So if you choose bad, that's up to you. If you choose good, that's up to you. But at the same time, you have to remember that good and bad has a mutual respect for each other. Good spirits and bad spirits, they have a mutual respect for each other. A good spirit knows not to go fuck with a bad spirit. And the bad spirit knows not to go fuck with a good spirit. That's the spirituality. That's how it goes. You see what I'm saying? So, think about it like this. When a veil has been lifted off of your eyes when you first come in the truth, it is a very astonishing feeling. It feels like your head is going to explode. It's like a very, very heavy feeling in your head. You look at your life and you connect all the dots to the information that you just heard. And you like, this shit does make sense. And I'm telling you this our first experience because when I first got the veil unlifted from my eyes, I'm like, God damn, this shit makes sense. But this information I've been looking for. And it's like, once the veil is unlifted, being lifted from your eyes, it's like, you want to seek more knowledge. Real talk. And everybody who has came into real truth knows that this is exactly what happens. You know, you, you, you astonish. You just like, you just stuck for a minute. Like, just think about your life. Like, so my life has been a lie this whole time. Because if you connect the dots, and see, and you can clearly accept the truth for what it is, you know what I'm saying, that you know that what you're hearing is truth. Now, you see what I'm saying now? When the veil is being lifted from your eyes, right, you start to look at everything differently. It's like the world around you is moving slow while you're moving fast and you're just looking at everything like, so all this shit they've been, they've been telling us has been a lie, right? You see what I'm saying? It's like, you start to see things differently. Like, you like, this shit does not make sense at all. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it does make sense. It's like, once you come in the truth and that veil has been lifted from your eyes, you don't see the world the same no more because you have came into some real spiritual truth, you know? And that's the thing that the government don't want us to know. They don't want the veil to be lifted from your eyes. They want you to be blinded by their light. You know what I'm saying? So... Hey, that's how you know when you come to some real truth and that veil has been lifted from your eyes, your head will feel heavy and it feel like you can't breathe. You will start to look at all your past memories and be like, this shit true. My life has been a lie. Real talk. That's how you know the veil has been lifted from your eyes. Like, share, and subscribe.